So we have the brand new feature program dropping this Friday, and we have our first of five bosses, and it's no less than 93 overall, Zach Britton. Left-handed reliever, but Zach Britton cards always play really well. But before we get into that, a couple things I want to point out. It's cool that they bring all these flashback cards and everything into the game, but it's the exact same card with the exact same stats every single year. A previous Zach Britton's, like the one we are seeing in MLB The Show 21 right here, 93 overall, exact same overall as the boss we'll see on Friday, but this one's a prime card. It's always been a prime card or an all-star card or some version of that with this exact image. But I believe this is our first ever milestone card that reflects ERA when Zach Britton had probably the best relief pitching season we've ever seen a 0.54 ERA for an entire season. He broke the reliever record that year. The card art on this looks sick. I'm assuming the card is gonna be absolutely insane, especially if we compare it to previous Sack Britton cards, like this 93 overall prime version from last year where he had 110 hits per nine, 99 Ks per nine, 98 home runs per nine, 99 velo, 99 break, 122 pitch and clutch. I'm assuming the stats will be different, but they'll at least look similar to this. But a prime card, of course, is taking the prime of Zach Britton, where this milestone card is going to be taking him from that one specific season, where he was probably one of the best relief pitching seasons of all time. So he could get a boost to hits per nine. Home runs and Ks per nine could get over 100, maybe. But I don't see how much better he's going to be than this card. This card's always really good. Sinker, slider, and then a four seam and a two seam fastball. So not the best pitch mix in the world, but Zach Britton cards, one thing about them is they always have outliers. So Zach Britton is more than likely going to have outlier on his sinker. I'm actually really interested to see his stats because it's a different card, so the stats are going to be a little bit different, but damn, it's going to be hard to beat this one. And of course, shout out to Ange Nation. He's always on top of it with all these attributes and everything. He actually has one for this mile zone, Zach Britton, with 110 hits per nine, 99 Ks per nine, 98 home runs per nine. Two seconds later. So actually, now that I look at it, his stats are exactly the same as his prime version from last year's game, which is okay because his stats last year were amazing. I'm just more so happy that the card art is different so I at least have something more aesthetically appealing to look at. It's weird as it sounds. I'm really big into card art, man. But this card's gonna be damn good and it is the first of five bosses. And considering he was the first reveal, I'm guessing he's gonna be one of the worst we're gonna see. So we could see some really good cards throughout the week. I'm assuming they're gonna be showing one every single day till Friday. So we'll probably see one tomorrow at some point. And don't forget they're gonna be doing a push the button stream on Friday at 11.30 a.m. Pacific time. So be sure to check that out. We'll be able to learn about all the new content content coming out on Friday, all the rewards you can get, they'll go over all the bosses, everything there is to know. I've showed this a couple times already, but on Friday we got the brand new featured program where you'll be able to pick two of five bosses, we have a roster update, we have a new event, we have the Kansas City Royals, new uniforms, Nike City Connect, and Tops Now, so a ton of content dropping on Friday, and we'll be back more likely tomorrow talking about the new boss that they revealed, but until then, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.